For this video, I'm going to show something which is relevant to BI, but more generally considered a collaboration feature of SharePoint Server 2010. I'm going to show the Excel web application, sometimes called the Web Access Companion. The Office web apps are browser-based versions of Excel, Word, PowerPoint and OneNote that can be used through an internet browser without having the Office client installed on the machine. There are two ways to use the Office web apps. For business use, they are licensed with Office 2010 and enabled by SharePoint, so documents stored in the SharePoint library can be opened in a browser for viewing and editing. The other way is for personal use only. Anyone who has a SkyDrive account for free online storage can create and edit Office documents in the browser from anywhere they have an internet connection. You don't have to convert Office documents to have them work in the web apps. Here I have a SharePoint document library with various files, including this web app with charts Excel file. I can choose to view it in the browser. Now I see this file that looks like a normal Excel document, just rendered through the web browser. I have some figures with conditional formatting, some charts, and if I switch to a different sheet, some pivot tables and charts. If I want to, I can expand sections of my table and see how that affects the charts. And I can use slices to dynamically filter my tables and charts. I can take my Excel data and use it to answer questions such as who the top seller is for various product sets. Here I see that Jenny is by far the best when it comes to selling beauty products, but that Mike and Tim are vying for the top spot with regard to entertainment items. So without using the Excel client, I can interact with my spreadsheets, but the values in the spreadsheet are read-only. If I need to change some of the figures, I can click on this Edit in Browser button. Here I see a view which looks very similar to what you'd see in Excel, including the ribbon for doing editing. There are restrictions on what I can do in the web app. If I click into my pivot tables and charts, I don't see the normal interface for editing the charts. However, I can still edit other parts of the file. I'll go back to Sheet 1. Here we have a section of actual and target values. There's an obvious problem for this December value. Perhaps this was caused by a reporting error. In that case, I can go in and fix that error, changing the 4 to a 5 in this figure. A moment later, the spreadsheet refreshes, and I see this change reflected in the calculated values, as well as the graphs and conditional formatting. Now I want to add a formula to calculate the total for my target values. I'll click into the cell and start typing. I get prompted with possible formulae. I can use these to create the formula just as I could in the Excel client. So I can interact with this spreadsheet in a very familiar way without using the full client. It's worth also pointing out this little message in the bottom right hand corner. I'm told that one person is editing this file. This is important because the Excel web app supports multi-user editing so you can be working on a spreadsheet with a group of colleagues all at the same time. So the Excel web apps give you the power to work wherever you are 
and to collaborate in real time on your Excel files.